Cause you're everywhere. Hi, I'm Michelle Branch, and this is my song, Everywhere. My eyes, it's you I see. I think the, the reason why everyone's making such a big stink about me being, being a singer-songwriter and actually writing the music I play, I think it's because right now there hasn't been a lot of that. And, you know, a lot of the, the young artists who are out there, other people write their, the music for them. And so it's not really coming from, you know, an 18-year-old. And, and with me, it's like an, an 18-year-old writing music for an 18-year-old. And, and hopefully, you know, I write about experiences that people in my, my age group can really identify with and, and maybe take more seriously if, if, you know, the lyrics seem more personal. The first single, Everywhere, everyone keeps asking me what it's about, and it's, it's really not about anything too sp specific. I try, when I write, to keep it really open, and I mean, I don't want to write songs that you can listen to it and be like, oh, this girl went through this and this, and I, I never went through that, like, I can't really relate to it. I want it to, I mean, obviously, it's going to touch up somewhat on, on what I'm going through because I'm the one who wrote it, but I want people to be able to listen to it and go, I think it means this and and I kind of I feel that way too sometimes or I I went through this and and I can totally see where she's coming from the classic rock influence comes from my parents were constantly listening to classic rock as I grew up you know we'd we'd clean the house and they'd blare it and you know blare Led Zeppelin and we'd be in the car and we'd listen to the oldies stations and it was really the music that I, I latched on to and I I was so inspired by it and um, it, I always preferred it over you know Paula Abdul <laughs> like all the stuff that was going on while I was growing up and and so a lot of people ask me you know when you go home what do you listen to and I still put on those records I still I listen to you know Queen Led Zeppelin Aerosmith stuff like that they recorded an independent record but being in the studio for that was so completely different just because of the budget that I had available to me. You know, when I was in the studio and, you know, if I wanted to hear a cello, I'd go, I kind of hear a cello for this, and someone would run out and get a cello, and a lot of stuff was accessible to me that wasn't before, and and it really left me me room to be creative, and now I know don't compromise anything. If if you're thinking about it, you know, speak up, and, and you know, what you have in your head, there's there's no reason why you can't get that down on tape. The first time I heard Everywhere on the radio, um, I was in Detroit, and I just left the station, and the program director, Tim Richards, he called up, and he was like, has she ever heard herself on the radio before? And everyone was like, no, I don't think she has. And he's like, well, stay in the car, because, you know, we're going to play it in five minutes. And my dad was out there with me that week, and um, we were with the people from Maverick Records, and we're all kind of sitting in the car, and we'd like totally just blasted it and it's really cool when when I heard it on the radio I just it was kind of like affirmation it was like you're doing the right thing just keep doing what you're doing and and every time I hear it now on the radio or something I'm just like all right I must be doing something right